Hi, I'm Ron, and I'm excited to start off the night with Ferno, the sleek, lightweight, and compact outdoor stove. Ferno's slim design means that it can be easily stored in the back of a packed car, or even in your backpack. Upon arriving to the campsite, the user places Ferno on any semi-flat surface and then takes off the protective case. Setup is then quick and easy. The user pops up the stove trap, locks in the windscreen, and drops it back into the base. Ferno's stove top can easily accommodate two large pots, or one pot plus a skillet. Entering the outdoor stove market is an extremely attractive opportunity. According to Coleman, 800,000 two-burner stoves were sold last year. The entire camping stove industry has a three-year growth rate of 12%, increasing 21% just last year. Storm Shield, an inflatable rain shield for bikes, which creates a safe and comfortable travel experience. The weather where he lives can be unpredictable. Uh-oh, looks like it's gonna rain. With the bag open, Sam deploys the rear supports and takes out the air beams. Storm Shield inflates from a pressurized air reservoir, which Sam filled at home to 80 PSI with a standard bike pump. He makes sure that it's topped off just in case when he heads out the door. Oh, just in time. The shape that we chose was selected to optimize protection, minimize drag, and provide a sleek profile. The canopy was stable at 25 mile per hour winds and even crosswinds of nine miles per hour. The air beams naturally damp vibrations so that it keeps the canopy stable and you dry. Imagine yourself, you're out on the trail, you've just reached a beautiful outlook, and you're getting hungry. Unfortunately, you're in an area where you cannot use conventional cooking methods, such as a campfire or a stove, both of which can cause forest fires. My name is Ksenia, and on behalf of Red Team, I'm happy to introduce to you Heatware. Heatware is a flameless cooking system that uses a double boiler concept with an inner and outer pot. Take out a fuel pack and remove it from its airtight packaging. Our flameless off-the-grid solution is powered by a magnesium iron reaction that can heat up the inner temperature to 80 degrees Celsius in less than 15 minutes. Our product comes in three pieces. We have our pot, our fuel source, and a carrying case. Based on production cost analysis, we can determine that our production cost will sit around $12.92. Good evening. I'm, I'm Paulina, here with Lauren and Paul. Rider Guider is a bike navigation system that directs the rider with vibrations in the grips, letting him keep his eyes and mind on the road at all times. It uses an app and a smartphone, eliminating the need for a standalone GPS unit. Jackson takes out the Rider Guider module and slides it into place on the previously installed mount and grips. As Jackson turns, a long vibration in the right grip indicates that he is at his right turn. Let's watch him take another turn. This time it is the left turn, so the, the warning is on the left side. This gives him time to change lanes if necessary. To make sure the rider stays on track, the app draws an ellipse around every two consecutive turns. If the rider exits the ellipse at any point, the app will recalculate and give the rider the new direction. In the United States, there are over two million bikers that make up the young commuter market. Of this specific market, we plan to capture 5% over five years. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ranjitha, and I want you to meet Steph. Steph is a small farmer in New England who has a plot of about 20 acres. As you can see here, she's currently harvesting spinach off the ground with a pair of scissors. As Steph squeezes the handlebars and decides to harvest, she can slowly walk across the spinach, along the spinach bed, collecting spinach as she moves along. Lastly, because different plants need to be cut at different heights up the stem in a range of about two inches, we've added brackets that allow farmers to change his height depending on which plant they're currently harvesting. Hi everyone, I'm John, this is Ray, 
and Wyatt. And it takes a lot to deliver the beer we enjoy to the restaurants and bars we enjoy it at. They drive the dolly down the stairs, feeling each jerk in their wrists, sh uh, shoulders, and chest. Right, this is Ray. He's one of Silver Team members, and he's been carrying kegs for us all semester. <laughs> he's going to lift the 160-pound keg on top of the other one. He's going to lock it in place with our simple and flexible locking mechanism. He's then going to wheel it like a dolly to the lip of the stairs. This is 320 pounds. You can return the handle to its natural position and move on his way. Although at first glance, our dolly looks a lot like other dollies, it has three distinguishing features. First, it has treads. It also has a braking system, as well as an extendable handle. In other older cities, such as Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, they have same issues. I'm Madeline. These are my teammates, Elena and Kolja, and on behalf of Purple Team, we'd like to present our solution, Sky Beacon. Sky Beacon is an illuminated and radar detectable tethered balloon and distress flag. This is Captain Jenny, and her boat is in distress. She pulls the release pin and lifts the lid. Next, she turns the activation knob, which initiates the flow of helium into the balloon. The third and final step will be to release the balloon. Our balloon is also aerodynamically shaped so that it can stay as vertical as possible in the case of wind. When the activation knob is turned, the helium can flow freely since a pin is depressed. Upon talking to several captains in the local area, we realized that there's a huge market for our product. Captain Marks mentioned that anything that can make you visible in the sea is a great safety product. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Pink Team, and tonight we are proud to present Herc. MIT Facilities has ranked cleaning waste containers as the dirtiest job on campus. Bridger attaches the trash can, raises the trash can by lowering the lever. The telescoping arm inside extends three feet into the can and then collapses back to 12 inches. This allows Herc to keep its clean profile. Notice how the uh, washing arm is slowly spinning back, and that gives it time to remove really nasty, disgusting stuff like you saw at the first slide. MIT Grounds can now pull down a lever, push a button, and watch as the once nasty job is now done for them safely, effectively, and efficiently in just two minutes. The best part? They'll be able to start doing this next week, right here in the Stata. So the presentations are over. And now I hope you'll join me in the lobby to meet the students.